goodness. <gasps> Hi, Snow White the Witch. Snow the White Witch. I always want to say when I read your name, I always say Snow White the Witch. But Snow the White Witch. Hello, honeys. I'm so excited and nervous. This is my first live on YouTube. So look at this box. It's like, it is 7.45 kilograms. So I'm so excited to open it. Hi, hi Nola. Oh my goodness, I'm like so happy. I finally got around to doing this because it has been so long since I've been wanting to do a live video. Hopefully next time we can also do like an Instagram one as well because I know a lot of people are over there. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, so maybe it's just, it's just me using my, my crazy brain. I know, so this is actually like a smaller order. This is my first crystal order, and I'm actually gonna start selling crystals on Bumblebee Botanica, I'm so excited. Um, so this was kind of my first order, testing out my supplier and kind of just testing out the waters to see. So it's kind of a little bit of a mix box. Um, not too many things in here, but I think I wanted to really get kind of an idea of what people were looking for. So let me know, what do you guys, do you guys like um, aura or natural crystals? I know some of you replied to my poll before, but I'm really curious because I have always been a very natural, like I've only liked natural and very raw stones. Um, but recently I have just been in love with aura, like aura vibes and different things. And especially when it's like, and I never used to like carved crystals either. Okay. So a lot of you are saying natural. There's a couple natural in here, but I was really kind of looking. So aura actually it's, it's one of those, I, I only get really like, um, the angel aura, but it's where they're actually coated in like, I don't want, is it titanium? But, um, they're coated unnaturally with like a metal, but it gives them this kind of rainbow sheen. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about um, here in a minute when we start to open. Um, I'll kind of wait for a couple more people to trickle in, but yeah, so yeah, I've just been really obsessed with like different um, carvings like animals, especially if they're like actually realistic looking animals like snails or frogs, things that animals that are actually little and probably because I'm super into like fey work right now. So yeah, but I have some really good ideas for um, putting them in resin as well. So I'm excited. Should we get started? What do you think? Okay. So as you can see, this box is super taped up. I don't even know where to open it, but let's just, oh my gosh, my knife is so dull. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this before. Okay, so don't make fun of me. But this is like seriously, I can't even tell where it opens. Oh my gosh. This is insane. shoot <laughs> I know for next time to actually try to open my box first because holy guacamole this is crazy okay. sorry if that's really loud and annoying <laughs> Just trying to see honestly where like the seams are on this thing. So how many witches does it take to open a box? What is your answer? Oh my goodness. Okay. It's about to get real, y'all. I'm gonna try not to cut myself. <laughs> I 
How many of you are laughing right now? This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I'm trying. I'm trying not to be that person who makes a fatal mistake on a YouTube live video, because that would be probably not a good thing. If you can see this, it's like literally, I like can't even break open, break into it. So lesson learned, we will be opening or at least untaping first next time. wasn't sweating before. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I can't believe how difficult that was. I mean, my channel is like all about unboxings. Like you'd think I'd be good at this right now. <laughs> okay, we're in. And I'm gonna try not to like. Okay, so this is what we have. <laughs> that was intense, right? I know. I know Katie's over here like sweat for me. So nice and well packed. <laughs> what an adventure already. Okay, so we have, woo, I'm gonna take everything out and then I'll put the box down. We can kind of break into them. I'm like so excited. I've been, I got this box last night and it has been so hard. I didn't know whether I was gonna do a live or an edited, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of chat with everybody because I have kind of a lot of ideas and I wanna kind of get more, more insight and see how this went. Because with all my, like, I already do so many unboxings. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't a cheap, super cheap order, and I suppose, I don't know. It's smaller than what I wanted to do. I'll say that, but you know, who doesn't go crazy when they start looking at crystals? Am I right? But okay, which ones should we start with? Let's start with the smaller, the smaller babies. And let's see. So. So yes, I'm like really, really excited to see. And I'm hoping I can stick with this supplier because like I said, they have a lot of really cool Aura things. And if enough people like Aura, you know, I'll tell to kind of do more Aura orders, but I also plan to do kind of like a mix, you know, so we'll also have live or live um, natural items in there. Let's see what this is. Oh, I think I know. I think I know what these are. Okay, so. I know me either. Okay, so. We got some moss agate moons. These are so pretty. I love moss agate so much. I don't know if I can do this to worry everybody. I can like display them. So you can see, probably not, but yeah, look at like that nice, I love when they have like clear bits, you know, so pretty. And I think I can't remember how many of these I got. Oh, that's a nice chunky one. I don't know if you can see, I'm going to try to do it without dropping it. So also let me know, I'm really curious what y'all's favorite stones are. So that's another question. Do you like raw, like completely raw natural type stones or do you like them um like if you like carvings too because i use this seriously only like completely raw rough stones and i'm kind of starting to enjoy some carved pieces now i don't know what what it was that yeah okay so you're like oh this is like my favorite one look how pretty this is Ooh, i love that like the transparent bit, oh yes, so pretty. 
We love it. So there is that. These are really exciting. And the depth in these pieces, like, isn't that so adorable? Uh, Moldavite. I know. I've been dying for some a piece of Moldavite in this past, I think it was last, last month's, um, which is Bounty had like a piece of Moldavite and it was the month I didn't get and I was like, no, but that's always how it ends up being, right? So looking for the perfect piece. Actually, along with this, I really, really want to do um, electroforming, like electroplating and jewel like doing pendants and things like that. That has always been on my bucket list of things to do. I know, right? That's like so typical of what happens when you skip on a box but yeah i would love to do it's on my my bucket list to do those like electroplated or electroformed pieces of jewelry like pendants and rings and different things i just love the naturalness of copper and how it how it forms on there when you electroplate things or electroform i don't know i'll just electroplate so this guy these are very nicely wrapped too i was a little bit worried Okay, so I got a few of these. Let me know what you think. I was so excited. On a stream. Yes, this is the right one. Um, sorry if I started another live stream. Like this is like my first time live streaming. <laughs> and I was so scared that wasn't what my phone actually almost didn't even let me do it, but so these geodes, and if I can get it, oh man, I don't even know if it's gonna show. But it has, oh my gosh, the most beautiful. Let me see if I can find, here it is. I know sometimes if I do like a darker, so it's actually, yeah, look at that. Like it's aura coated. And my idea with these was to almost use as like a little offering bowl. So, oh my gosh, I would love to use these on my fairy altar for like a fairy type offering bowl. And isn't that so cute? Because I love natural things. Like I, I really, I mean, like I said, this isn't like completely natural, but I just have been loving the vibes recently. And um, yes, I thought so too. So when I saw these, I was like, that would make the most gorgeous little fae type offering bowl or even just like an offering bowl for, or anything, just a gorgeous piece in general for your altar or just so pretty. Or even like a trinket dish. How pretty would a trinket dish be? um out of one of these so i got a few of these so don't mind the wow so here's another really pretty one. Ooh, look at those and like those bits in there like the geo drizzy 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 how do you say it i don't even know parts in there are like so pretty with that aura and it's not overpowering like i don't like I don't really like the aura that's like, it actually changes the color of the crystal or if it's like very, very intense. But I love when it's just a very nice light bit of aura on there. So let me turn my, oops, sorry. Don't move around. Turn my brightness on a little bit higher again. Okay, so what's next? I have no idea what is in each of these, but Maybe another one. Yes. So, oh no, this is a different piece. So these, actually, it's like a hello, hello, Sabrina. So this was actually another. Goodness, my light is just so weird. Who still films on their phone? That's me. I'm too cheap. So this is like another kind of aura piece. And instead of, so it was my goal in Bubble Botanica to kind of be able to, um, to offer things that aren't very usual, like that I haven't really seen or that I, that really catches my eye and I haven't really be, been able to find 
anywhere else. Um, but this is an aura piece and I actually have an idea of putting this and the other one I got into like one of my big spheres and then creating kind of just like a little almost fairy garden type thing inside one of my big spheres because when you put crystals like clear quartz and resin it's really hard to see them so I thought something like this but what are you doing where you go so I actually did like a crystal order like I'm actually going to be starting um to sell these on my um on my in my shop so so yes here are a couple that we we've already gone through we'll actually be seeing some more so I'm not going to show go through everything again but, but yes welcome if you are just joining us Yes, me too. I was, I'm still a little bit scared about Fae work and really inviting them into my home, but I absolutely love the energy I have been receiving from them. And if you haven't seen my tiny cauldron thing, my, my previous video thing, um, check it out. I have this fairy attraction oxy, oxymel and it is so delicious. And I have just been loving it. Like every time before I go out to my garden, I use them and it is like magical. And um, my flowers are like finally starting to bloom. So how's my day going so far? It is going well. My parents are actually coming to visit in a couple days. And if you kind of have been following, you know that um, we had a house fire, well, kind of a house, a smoke fire, smoke incident. Um, back in December and got into our house maybe like a month or so ago. So we're trying to get everything back into order before they visit. <laughs> so it's been a bit crazy. But we're we're embracing the crazy this year, are we are we not? Like I don't think you can survive 2020 without embracing the crazy and appreciating the craziness. So that's what we're doing over here. Okay, I wasn't sure. I, don't know if you're I wasn't sure how exciting these unboxings would be because a lot of it, it's not like a no one of my normal unboxings where it's like a, a mystery box. Like I knew there was gonna be a lot of packaging, so let me know what you think about these. But I don't know. I am enjoying chatting with y'all, so I think we might keep these live and then um, the actual like normal mystery box unboxings more of like the edited ones but but it's the beginning of the month and I knew I was gonna have a bunch of those to edit so I didn't want to add to my <laughs> my list let's see we might have more of the same yes oh these are bigger pieces oh my gosh look at the look at that aura on there that's like a nice big piece compared to like the Got a couple of the smaller ones, but nice, chunky. Ooh, that almost looks like one of those horns or what are those called? I don't know. Do you know what I'm talking about? But so pretty. In love with them. Hi, go to sleep. My daughter is my, my almost five-year-old. What did you say? Sorry. Hi, Michelle. Yes, my daughter is um, never sleeping anymore because she's almost five and like uh, next week. Yes, that's, that is what I was talking about, uh, cornucopia, cornucopia, yeah. You got it, Marie, so, yep, I know. Just one of those things, like words that you don't use too often, so. Ooh, okay, so this is not what I was expecting. Here is my other big piece. Oh, Look at that, that is just so chunky. Ooh, you have twins. My husband and I are actually wanting to do in vitro for twin boys. So, go up to your room. Go up to your room, now. So, look how pretty that is. How pretty would that be in like one of my big spheres? Or maybe I'll just, I don't know, keep it as like a natural crystal. It is kind of hard for me sometimes to put crystals in spheres, but because I just love their naturalness. So, <laughs> Catherine Mermaid wants to say hi. That's exactly right. Oh, your order just got there. Oh my gosh, that's what I, I hope you love it. 
I'm so excited. It makes me so happy to be able to work with y'all and what a magical experience, like just having, being able to kind of put my energy into something that everybody or some people have now in their own lives. That makes me, that's such an amazing thing to me. So, and I actually didn't even, when I first created this channel, I didn't even expect to do resin. Um, so, I mean, it's really evolved into something awesome and makes it it's like me able to be able to really kind of offer more here because it's kind of just a really cool facet to my practice now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my husband and I, we actually have, we for a long time, we had the three under three, but now I have a four-year-old, a three-year-old and a two-year-old. And we are hoping to do the twins, have the twins as soon as possible. So they're all young and can still play together and kind of diffuse each other with their craziness. <laughs> but we definitely wanted to just kind of get it over with and be able to retire, retire from the diapers and stuff young. My family, I grew up with my, my little sister's actually almost 10 years younger than me. So there's a bit of, a, of an age difference there. So, so my parents still have their, their little nest, but I know I'm gonna to wanna to fill my nest with a bunch of grandbabies eventually. <laughs> my little witchy, my witchy babies. If any of you have kids, do you uh, do you ever practice with your kids? Do they do they think it's interesting or not? I'm cur always curious about that too. My oldest daughter. Oh really? Oh yeah. Yeah, see, I guess it's not that unusual. Whenever growing up, everybody was like, oh my gosh, your sister is 10 years younger than you, but yeah, I'm finding that's not super unusual. So, sorry this is taking me so long. Do you practice with yours? I do, um, <laughs> cool fire. Yeah, my, my oldest daughter loves anything witchy and artistic. Like, she is such a creative soul, and she, lo like, she always wants to be a part of what I am doing. So, I'm so happy about that. I know I will eventually be taking her out and doing rituals in a forest with her. How cool. Okay, so we're here. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, Goblin King of Potatoes. What an awesome name. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing. I'm I can't I'm so happy with how like Amazing our honey coven is. It makes me so happy. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there on the 1 million subscribers. No, I'm, I really just am so amazed with all the amazing energy I receive. And I mean, when I first started YouTube, I don't know if y'all remember a couple, I mean, it seems like a couple of years ago, I guess maybe like five years or so ago. Um, yeah, so this is an aura rainbow quartz tower. If y'all didn't figure that out yet, <laughs> I'm like too busy chatting, but, um, people were so mean on YouTube. Like I remember there would be like crazy trolls and they would just be like, oh, you're ugly, you're fat, your teeth are weird, you know, like all these different things. Right. And it was just, I was like so scared to start a YouTube channel, but people, y'all have been nothing but welcoming and amazing. And it mean, yeah, I know, right? Like, I do you remember that? Or is it just me? Like, I would always look in the comments and people were just bashing on each other. Like, and I mean, that was before I started YouTube and they didn't specifically say that to me, but it was like, it made me scared to do that. So yeah, these are actually some of my first aura pieces too, Nola. Oh, thank you so much, Jamie. Yes, I'm very... I don't know. I'm sure y'all know, especially if you watch my unboxings, I'm very like, I don't have a lot of like bad things to say about people. I'm one of those people that sees the, sees the positive side of things. So, but, but yeah, I try to be like that because I, I want to be that person that really, you know, when you spread good energy, you really bring that to yourself and, and yes, I want good energy in my life. Your soul trolls, hopefully, yeah. And I, I think, 
I think we have really like as a community, this is such an amazing community and people are very, very accepting and just amazing. So I'm just honestly, maybe it's also the, that YouTube has gotten better at controlling that. That's why you don't see it as much, but, but yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. And things have changed so much too. Like people, just in general, I think people are really opening their minds to what is um, what is beautiful, what is acceptable, and what is normal. I mean, you know, when our parents were growing up or, you know, especially before that, it's like being a witch, you know, that's not something you could do. <laughs> you have five total twins. Wait, what? I have five total twins. <laughs> Wait, you have five, oh, five total, including the, oh, kids, okay. I was like, did I just read that wrong or? Okay, twin, okay, I was like, oh my. <laughs> Holy, I am feeling for you right now. Gotta read that like five times, crazy. Yeah, we are, we are one in five and kind of just a couple boys even and out. We really want to be eventually on a farm and, or at least like a homestead and just living a wholesome and sustainable lifestyle. That is our dream. So we need some, we need some boys to kind of even it out and more farm hands. <laughs> And it's kind of become one of those things at first we were talking about adopting, but there's just, I don't know, we're kind of, there's a lot of kind of scary things that go along with that as far as the mom changing her mind. I know here in Texas, the laws are kind of crazy. Um, but, but yeah, we just, I feel like their, their souls are already part of our family now. So we have to, <laughs> we have to make it happen. I have five brothers, one sister. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I, um. My kids definitely drive me crazy, but at the same time, you know, like I sit down at the end of the day and look at them, you know, just they're the most amazing things. I really wouldn't, wouldn't change it. And I'm not just saying that. <laughs> my cat is my kid right now. Yeah, for sure. Uh-huh. I know. I love my fur babies too. Unfortunately, my husband isn't as big on the fur babies, but I am. Okay. So this is the last like really different thing I think. And I actually, ooh. Got a sticker on there. Actually got this for my neighbor. She is, I believe she just turned 12 and um, she like loves unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> so I got this for her for her birthday. And yes, isn't that like so cute? I think she's going to love it. And let me know if you, if you are, if you like things like this too, because I will definitely get more. Like what a sweet, sweet energy. Ah, so cute. Yes, I can never decide, like unicorns or mermaids. I don't know if y'all have seen like my, I've got how like this new unicorn horn mold and I made, been making these ring holders. And I think they're just the cutest, the cutest things. So, oh my gosh, I'm like going so slow y'all, I'm sorry. But yes, so I think I'll definitely get more of those. And I have been looking at like some really, really cute other carvings like that of different animals, um, specifically like snails. There are sea turtles, which are so beautiful. Um, tortoises, I like love, like I said, I love the little animals that you can, like they're more realistic, you know? Love the unicorns, okay, cool. Yes, I love them too. So cute. Oh, you know what? I think I remembered something else that I did get. Let's see if this is it. Is this really loud and annoying when I'm unwrapping, or unwrapping these? I'm sorry if it is. Okay, perfect, doesn't bother you. 
I'm trying not to be loud. Okay, so I think these are more of the geodes. Let's say. Ooh, that's a nice deep one. Look at that, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been looking at a lot of skulls. I've seen the dragons too. That might be something that I um, I put on my list of things to get next time. They have like some really good ones and I really wanna make sure I get the high quality carvings. Like if I do, I know some of them are sometimes are a little like, well, they look a little janky, but yeah, I wanna make sure I get some like really high quality pieces. And Bumblebee Jasper, that is another thing that like, how can I not have Bumblebee Jasper, right? So another geode. Ooh, this piece is pretty cool. It has like two little openings and it's like so hard to even catch like how honestly amazingly gorgeous that flash is. Pretty. Okay, I think that is enough of those. So hopefully, as I'm saving, well, maybe we'll open this big baby right here. Y'all are sticking with me. I've been getting my all my um, subscription boxes in the mail. I think my sugar muses is coming today, and last night I got my witch's moon. So I will be doing those unboxings later. Woo. Okay. Just like the, oh my gosh, it's so heavy too. Like the vibes. Yeah, I know, the big ones excite me too. I'm like, ah, it's so pretty. I just imagine being just like, I don't know, just in a sea of beautiful crystals. Like, look at that. I love that like chevron type pattern too. So pretty. My husband is dancing outside the door. <laughs> so pretty. So pretty. I have like one more thing in here. One of these packages that is different from the rest. Pretty sure. And I think you are going to like it. I'm really excited about it. That's the thing, like I, I have seen some ore that's just like very, very bright colored and I know a lot of people love those, like the sunset ones and things, but they're just not my cup of tea. But these, gosh, they're just such a light, pretty aura. I think they're just gorgeous. So another tower, this one has like a little bit, like chunk there. I think it's kind of the natural, but look how dang pretty those are. Like, and it's hard to catch the, like sometimes you'll turn it and it's just so, like almost like a bubble. It's gorgeous. So, let's see, I think this one might be the one I was talking about. Okay, so have y'all seen Tiger King? Because I kind of watched it like, a while back but my husband and I are watching secrets again and golly craziness <laughs> it's pretty dang entertaining like honestly what a gold mine of um the gold mine of footage for that producer to have come across 
I can't even imagine like being around that, especially when he's pointing a gun at people. Like I am all like I'm. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I'm super. I love guns, and we're, we're like always been very careful with them. I grew up around guns. I've. I used to be in the military. My dad was in the military, so guns have been a big part of my life for a very long time. And, um, but yeah, like he's pointing a gun at people, and it's just too much. I'm an amethyst baby. Oh, amethyst. Yeah, I've been seeing some beautiful amethyst pieces. Okay, I had to stop talking. So we're. <sighs> so here is a natural or like a not aura rose quartz loon bowl. You used to live near, you used to live near it. Oh, wow. So love these moon bowls. I will definitely be getting more of these because how gorgeous. And they come, I, I, can, I have them in um, a few different stones. Yeah, isn't that so pretty? Do you prefer the rose quartz or the, the like clear quartz? What do you think? They also have, I can also get it in fluorite, which I ha was thinking about, but I really, um, well, now that I'm thinking about it, or selenite, selenite was the other one that was there. Is fluorite, are you able to put fluorite in water? For some reason, like in my head, I'm thinking fluorite is one of those ones that will dissolve, but somebody, somebody here must know. Yes, so pretty. So this last one I think is also a tower. But yeah, I love this moon bowl. Like just the quality too. Yeah, selenite can't get wet. Fluorite dissolves. Okay, that's what I thought because they did have like a, moon, a fluorite moon bowl, but I was thinking like if you wanted to use it for like moon water or something like that, which I was really interested in using it for, then that would be very sad. Needs to be landlocked. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, last piece here, and it is beautiful. Oh, this is such a cute piece. And these are like, it always, I don't know, like it, they're a lot heavier than I expected them to be with like this size. I actually don't have any nice towers in this size yet. So <gasps> imagine just an altar with tower, crystal towers everywhere. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Oh yeah, look at that like blue flash. I love like, you can still see it's rose quartz. You know, it, it's not like overpoweringly aura to where it looks just completely fake so that's what i really liked about them i'm gonna set them up so you can see how pretty they are so pretty nice and sharp too like the tips are like very nice on them oh yeah look at those for unicorn so that is everything and yes you all have to let me know what you think I love how you can still see the details. Yeah, like actual, you can still see like how natural they look on the inside, like the different chevrons and the, the textures inside of them. So I think that is very pretty as well. But yeah, I do plan on taking a couple of the more kind of common pieces and putting them, like I seriously see that when, as soon as I saw it, I just imagine it in like a big sphere, like a resin sphere, and then just like little mushrooms around it and, so cute <laughs> so but yeah and these moons are just like so cute too Ooh, this one has like the little druzy 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 i don't know i don't know how to say words so yes nice little haul i'm super excited i have been kind of throwing around some ideas and um just different things that I want to do on my channel. I think I might kind of keep these these orders, like the big orders, um, to where they are live. That way it's not a bunch of editing and it's kind of like we can chat at the same time since it's not something that is a surprise. Yeah, the moss agate moons are so pretty. So yeah, I know you haven't even seen those because they all kind of came in a little bit later, but look how pretty they are. I love them. Moss agate. I'm going to be getting a lot of flower agate in. 
um, a lot of like normal, like that Dresi kind of um, different skulls, different other carvings. So keep your eye out for those. Those are on my list of things to get. But yes, we have nice little array. You can't even see it, but there you go. There. Now you can see it. So cute. Okay. But yeah, now I have to move you back up because now you can't see me. Okay. So that is that. If y'all have any questions, let me know, but these will be available in my shop, Bubbly Botanica, on Etsy, and I'd really like to know what you guys would like to see in the future, kind of like what different stones. Um, I Like I said, I really, really love um, the different kinds of agates, so like um, moss agate, flower agate, um, the different moon bowls are super pretty to me. And then a lot of the different, um, thank you. Yes, I love them so much. The different, what am I trying to say? Animals, like different animals that you can kind of, they look natural and yeah. So I have a lot of exciting things coming. And also I was kind of throwing around some ideas and I was thinking about starting a Patreon and I didn't want to be like, one of those people that is just like looking for more ways to um, kind of like bring in money into my channel because that's not what it's about. But I was thinking it'd be really cool once I get my Fay garden up and running. What do you guys think about me? I was thinking we really, okay. I have like some perennials, like a different few different roses and then some dahlias, different things like that. Um, and actually dedicating, like if you were to be part of my Patreon list or like a sponsor. Is that really the word? Is that the word I'm looking for? But pretty much dedicating a flower or a plant to whoever wants to be a part of that. So, and then kind of like basing that around whenever I make resin pieces with the flowers, kind of like honoring that person. Um, and then a couple other ideas. I actually had an idea to do almost like a box. So where it was like kind of a garden box where it would include like seeds and then, or maybe like some seed bombs, maybe like a resin piece from me, different things like that. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. I really don't want to like make it cheesy and I want to actually be able to offer something unique and that would, that people would actually enjoy. Um, and that means something to, to everybody. So, so yeah, let me know if that sounds super cute. Okay, cool, cool, but yes. Um, thank you all for coming and enjoying this with me. I really enjoyed doing this. What a sweet idea. Okay. That is awesome. 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 That makes me so happy that y'all like that. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about it and I've been thinking about different ways to be more involved, um, like that and kind of bring you into my life and my practice because y'all have like really become one of the biggest parts of my practice. I mean, everything most most of the things I do recently have been filmed and I really want to share with you so it's been awesome very unique so yeah so that makes me happy um but yes if y'all are yay thank you I know thank you for subscribing Goblin King of Potatoes I love your name <laughs> that is so awesome so yes thank you all for watching and I will talk to y'all later blessed be and let's see how if I can figure out how to turn it off now. <laughs>